might not all know about these wonderful ladies. Um, Ellen, little known fact, she taught in Hebron prior to North. She's been at North for 15 years and has done pretty much everything. <laughs> PE, third grade, health teacher, STEM teacher, and now Kindy Encore. She's worn many hats. Kindy Encore, yay! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she can boogie down with the best of the Kindies, I'll tell you. That's true. She has four children, Peter, Ryan, Kevin, and Katie. Peter is a pilot, Ryan is a civil engineer, Kevin is a dentist, and Katie is a physical therapist. She's taking care of all of her needs. <laughs> all very successful and all love to travel. Peter has two children who are the light of her life, Anna and Patrick. They live in Dallas, Texas. And I just heard Katie just got engaged this week. Words where I wasn't sure if that was ever going to happen. <laughs> She's a Cubs and a Bears fan, shows good judgment. Uh, Go Hawks! Go Hawks! And Hawks, loves the garden, lives on five acres on State Line Road up near Hebron. Her family is very important to her and she loves to spend a lot of time with them. And she's already hanging out with the Neros. <laughs> Thanks for the uh, reinforcement. <laughs> um, and then somebody sent me, they said when Ellen was found out she'd be teaching kindergarten encores in her last year, she was a bit shocked. We quickly bombarded her with all the positivity we could. We decided in her honor that this would be the year of Ellen. So every time we saw her, she'd just been with a class of rambunctious kindy kiddos, we'd remind her this is the year of Ellen and she'd smile. May the year of Ellen continue as she embarks on her new journey. What you worked for in the prize that you have won. You'll have some time to make some choices. Do you read or sleep or play? This will really be relaxing. Easy living every day. Today you choose to read. Today you choose to play. Today you choose to sleep all day. Today you choose to golf, today you choose to shop, today you choose to sleep all day. Now you know we're going to miss you, but don't you know how envious we are? We put all three places in a minute, but now we want to do this But we have like uh, David Letterman top 10. Uh, give or take a few um, of things we won't miss, <laughs> memorable moments, and things that we will miss. So, the things we won't miss, we'll leave with that. Uh, mine is packing a lunch every day. <laughs> Taking knots out of shoes that kids have tied together themselves. Ah! <laughs> this is one of my favorites, the very unpredictable temperatures in the building. <laughs> uh, writing sub plans. It takes longer to write the plans than it does to teach the lesson. <laughs> Turning into bag ladies when trying to get everything back and forth to school. <laughs> Kids screaming every morning when the bell rings. <laughs> they do that in the primary Like they've never heard of you before. Fifth grade. <laughs> I don't think I'll miss traveling the classrooms with my cart. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to really miss Charlotte. Danielson, that is. Oh. <laughs> um, that's our evaluation, in case you don't know. 
I won't miss the books returned with yuckies inside, like wine and chocolate and Doritos and yes, rotten bananas. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Uh, false fire alarms, especially when it's really cold outside, taking the kindergartners out with no coats. Responding to emails. <laughs> Making sure that 14,000 books are in order before inventory. <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least in that one, to take a number system for the bathroom that can take five or six tries. <laughs> e you can sleep until noon. You can have a good meal. You can do whatever you feel. difficult days, rainbows to follow the clouds, sunsets to warm your hearts, confidence when you doubt, courage to know yourself, patience to believe in yourself. We need a lot of patience this year, right girls? Mm -hmm. And all our friendships to help you, and you will all be very missed. So thank you.